what she did it was like all right we need to get over this huge thing that could actually end our relationship what's up easy gang 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 what's up y'all okay so today's a little bit different i feel like you know this video kind of needs to be made because you know we are very honest with you guys we just want to kind of talk it out in front of you because like we discussed before in that yeah. video a while ago we are human we are you know a real couple there's nobody is perfect and we yeah. want you guys to know that and we want you guys to also be able to see and learn how we work through stuff because we know we have a lot of couples and stuff like that yeah. that follow us as well so yeah it's pretty Pretty loud out here so we're gonna I guess we can get some more quiet and we'll grab some food and you know talk about it Pluto say what's up to the easy gang he's like yo I am ready I'm ready to go go so we are here we got our uh, salads we found Sally. a new spot called mix mix is fire yo shout out to mix yeah sponsor us right. it's like bomb salads yeah and bowls and stuff like that healthy mm -hmm. but delicious mm. very flavorful real quick do you think you can grab me another sauce kind of sauce whatever it's in this let me taste it so i can tell you what's in it <laughs> i didn't even taste the chicken it's a given let me see the chicken the chicken doesn't have the sauce it's a lemony yeah healthy. let me put you on real quick so this looks like rice but it's not it's mm. chickpea rice mm. Chickpeas are low in carb and very high in protein. Mm -hmm. So this is very like a really high protein bowl. Which is good. Nice. Now we can talk about it. Now that we're like more leveled. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got food in our system. I feel like we would have came off a little bit hangry with, with, with more emotions into it. So I got my sauce. You got a sauce, you got a food, <laughs> everything's leveled and smooth. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you guys know, we posted a video like a few weeks back. Um, it was pretty much a video of me kind of apologizing to Natalie and us discussing our relationship, something that I did that triggered it publicly. You know, I made a tweet, being emotional, being childish and stuff like that. I went live. <laughs> it wasn't a tweet, actually. It, it wasn't was a tweet, alive. it was a live. I'm so used to doing that that, that anyway, I thought it was a tweet. It was actually, I went live and I and said we had to basically, yeah, we had to work it out and and we yeah. worked it out off camera and then we wanted to share with you how we worked it out on camera on camera and the other day we realized that there's still some some things that have been left untouched and unsaid that is still kind of like lingering even though we got over the main like heap or we're working to heal those emotions like the the feelings that i had easy realized that there was something that was still bothering and hurting her right about what happened and we weren't able to even focus on that because it was like the time wasn't did, yeah yeah the timing wasn't really appropriate based off of what she did it was like all right we need to get over this huge thing that could actually end our relationship right. but um so do you want to go into like yeah. what it was so pretty much like I feel like for an example, like you know when you argue with somebody, right? Or you're arguing with your partner, your friend, whoever, and then somebody can take it to the next level. And once they take it to that next level, it's kind of like everything else doesn't matter. You cross the line. I find myself doing a lot of things and reacting overboard, but we never really talk about or get to the root of, yo, wait, what happened? Why did she flip out? Not, not justifying my actions, but let's talk about it because that stuff gets swept under the rug. Sometimes I like, I don't know how to deal with stuff that I hold on to. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I, I kind of want to talk about it because it was just like, a lot of those things are still bothering me. You know, what happened and, mm -hmm. and what caused it. I think that happens throughout our relationship that sometimes when we get into it or if something happens, it's like, I'm the one that does something irrational and childish, but we forget about what was right. the cause of this. You know? Yeah. So basically to give you guys a little bit of background story on exactly what happened, um, Easy and I was going through like a little like rough patch in our relationship where honestly it felt like you know how it is when you're in a relationship sometimes everything's great and sometimes it feels like you argue no matter what. It's just about everything. Mm -hmm. We were going through one of those patches where 
the most simple things were turning into arguments and we had uh, a pretty big argument and then but over something simple it was so simple it was yeah. so simple so basically she ended up telling me don't talk to her anymore like don't talk to her and obviously you know she was just emotional and stuff like that but i took it to heart and it really hurt my feelings so that's what we did we literally didn't talk for like three days which is maybe to some people that's normal but to us that is completely abnormal we never go long periods of time without talking mm -hmm. um during this time I end up going to a cookout with my friend. And this cookout happened to be at a celebrity's house, right? I ended up posting the house on my story and Easy recognized the house and basically starts hitting me up. Now, in my mindset, I was like feeling hurt and kind of frustrated as well to think that like, why is she hitting me up now that I posted this? but we haven't talked in the last few days right mm -hmm. and basically i proceeded to just ignore her and i was like you know what i'm about to just have fun with my friends i'm not doing anything wrong it's i'm not doing anything that she would disagree with had we been talking anyway but i was like you know what i'm just gonna ignore this situation until i get home that really hurt her to feel like she was being ignored like no matter what we're going through like i shouldn't just completely ignore her like a simple text message to just be like hey this is what i'm doing regardless like whatever like we're not talking you know i feel this way why are you hitting me up now but but anything is better than a completely ignoring her so basically we talked it out and she expressed that to me and i was like you know what i can understand like coming from she you know coming from your standpoint and if it was the other way around i would agree like if we were arguing if i told you you know not to talk to me and stuff and now also we are trying to be a lot more intentional about what we say and not just say stuff because we're upset you know yeah. but say you know we're in a huge argument regardless you know we should still unless if we are broken up with we decide we're actually done we right. should be at least communicative to be like hey i don't feel like talking to you right now simple. and it's as simple as that you know from my perspective i wasn't hitting you up on like oh so you at some celebrity house you know what i'm saying it was like yo bitch you you there a couple hours later here and there i would see her post on social media and it's like damn and that's where it was getting to me so it was like yo i'm on we like We've never done this before. Towards this long, and I'm hitting you up on some cool terms, not arguing. Like I'm trying to celebrate with you that you at their house. You feel me? Especially because you know I like this celebrity. So I'm. I would at that moment, I was just trying to celebrate with you, and I just felt so hurt that you were ignoring me. But the world, you know, can get your attention mm -hmm. by social media. You posting on social media, so that was egging. Like that was. That's where the childish ways and me going live like stem from. She's blatantly ignoring me right that that right there was like yo what mm -hmm. it wasn't even on that level like to where you like damn you don't even care about me even blowing you up but you care about everybody else by posting you know so that's right. where the hurt came from and it was just like damn that like mm -hmm. i'm your best friend too mm -hmm. you know and, and, and i felt like you weren't looking at me as a best friend either you know yeah no definitely i definitely wasn't we've never dealt with a situation like this before so i feel like in a relationship you're never going to know all of the right or, or wrong things to do in a relationship sometimes you're kind of like pulling everything by ear you know what i'm saying you're writing your own rules as you go and that's something that we learn in this situation is that that's something that has to do with like a level of respect for each other is not not doing that it's not completely ignoring each other if if we need a little space it's as simple as a response of like hey i need some space or i don't feel like talking right now or whatever the case may be you guys might be wondering like oh why are you guys like sharing this and stuff like you guys know we really do like see you guys like as family and we also like to we found it very healthy to work things out like this in front of you guys and we've even had a lot of messages about how it has helped and like it helps you guys to see even how to like do things in your own personal life so we yeah. just thought this was like something interesting um yeah to talk about you know yeah and it was still bothering me you know what i'm saying so i didn't even though i know that i'm not gonna do anything irrational do anything childish you know what i'm saying i still wanted to be like yo we can talk 
open communication mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and just like this is something that's bothering me you know some things are better kept off social media mm -hmm. and some things are healthy you know what i'm saying exactly so yeah. i'm glad we like we're able to you know, sit here talk top it up with the silence you know yeah so moral of the story is you know even if a situation happens and one person might have done something blown it out of proportion bigger than the other yeah deal with that but don't feel like later on when the timing is appropriate and stuff that you can't talk about your own feelings and especially if you come about it in a way that she came about it to me like I, she was super calm it was like a great conversation you know and in that moment i was just like dang like i was really able to reflect on my actions to be like is that something that I would want done to me, you know? And I apologize to her and let her know, like, it won't happen again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm going to do my best to, no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what I feel like happened, I'm going to try to do my best to, you know, take actions and steps towards being the type of partner that I would want her to be to me, you know? So again, I do, you know, apologize for the way that I acted in my part of, how things went south and i'm glad that we had like such a healthy conversation not only behind closed doors but in front of the Neasy gang so that they can see how you know healthy relationships work things out you know mm -hmm. well Neasy gang there you have it what should we call this combos with Neasy 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 in the gang Neasy combos Neasy in the gang that's cute Neasy in the gang talks with easy and now Hey, hey, hey Neezy gang, let's, let's chat. chat. <laughs> I like Neezy in the gang. Neezy in the gang. But it, yeah. but what does that mean? It has to be like Neezy in the gang talk show. Neezy in the gang late night. So let us know below. Let us the know comments. what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah just let us we, know. Need, we need a little name for these when combos. Because these combos will happen again. Hopefully sure not too gonna, much. No, not too much, but we. <laughs> I feel like we're at a good place when we have these conversations. Mm -hmm. And I'm healthy, yeah. We do understand how many like couples follow us, mm -hmm. and I want to be a positive, you know, influence yeah. on how to deal with like relationship stuff. Because I know a lot of you guys look up to us, even in the way that we love each other and how much we show like that we love each other and stuff. But we do want to be real and let you guys know that we have issues, and we want to also share how we work through those yeah. issues. You know, definitely. So. Mm -hmm. Help us come up with a name. All, All right, right y'all. Knees again, we out. We out. Off in the dome. Probably, huh?